Our side, you know, millions of IKEA dressers are on the recall list for tipping over, but for just five bucks, a tri-state man has discovered a fix to keep his dresser from ever falling over. We're going to tell you about that in just a second, but first, John Batteries is here about some new scams on this Tuesday day of giving. Yes, today is Giving Tuesday. We've uh -huh. been talking about that, Craig. Today is a day that millions of Americans are starting to give money to charities. Between now and the end of the year, we'll be donating so much, and that's wonderful. But the Better Business Bureau tonight says don't let the spirit of the season leave you vulnerable to a scam. If you get a Facebook or an email appeal to donate to, say, recent flood victims or anyone else, check the BBB's website or an independent site like Charity navigator to make sure that that appeal is real. The release of Apple's new iPhone 8 and 10 is triggering a selling frenzy as people seek to sell their old device. So if you have an older phone to get rid of, the easiest thing, of course, is to trade it in at an AT&T or Verizon store or cell phone store. But, you know, you're not going to get much for that. Instead, sell it at sites like Gazelle and itsworthmore.com. They'll pay you more cash. They even pay for postage. And an iPhone 6 will get you about $100 to $200 at a local store. That same phone will net you $200 to $350 if you sell it yourself online. You can definitely get good money for your phone. Some of them do give you a guarantee. That's good news. Phone reseller guy driver says before you turn it in, just make sure you delete everything on your phone and restore it to its factory settings. There may be a new fix for deadly children's dressers tonight. A local Westchester man tells me he's come up with a simple, inexpensive fix that could save a child's life from falling furniture. This heart wrenching nanny cam video from Utah shows the danger of some IKEA dressers. Ron Kuznar knows the risk, too. Back in the 1980s, his three-year-old son toppled a dresser. Went to grab the stuffed animal and hit the end of the changing table, tried to pull himself up, and it came down. Luckily, neither Ron's son nor the boys in this video were hurt. But IKEA is now recalling 17 million children's dressers after the deaths of eight toddlers, the latest a California boy. These IKEA dressers appear to be somewhat more prone to tipping than other brands. What happens is a two-year-old sees something on top, wants to get at it, so they climb up on the drawer, the whole dresser comes falling down. IKEA is now offering this free repair kit to all owners. This one goes into the wall, and, and you can see it's only like a half inch long. Ron, an engineer by trade, worries about people sticking the small screw into loose drywall. Nothing to say that be sure you get into a stud, or, or giving, for lack of better words, maybe a little beefier design. So he went to the hardware store and for $5 bought a big hook and cable that he says is impossible to pull off. And then I got um, one eighth inch cable at the hardware store. With two cable locks to hook it together, Ron says this is something any parent can do. Too complicated? Then buy a pre-made tether kit like this. Either way, Ron says get it done. So that when a child tries to pull it out, you know, it doesn't go anywhere. Now, IKEA says that its wall tether is safe and passes all tests when properly installed. However you attach yours, IKEA urges all buyers to securely attach dressers to the wall. Really, even if you don't have toddlers, that way you stay safe and you don't waste your money. Kristen. John, thank you. Well, 